Hello, hello, body fire, how are you? Um, I hope you're well. Now this is a little video we're gonna do and put up on Facebook um, and possibly my YouTube channel. It's here to answer some of your questions and some of your tweets that have been submitted. Um, the first one is from Graham Moore. Um, he has written, seen the ridiculous amount of food you eat on YouTube um, with Ben Coon, but can you give me a breakdown of your macros? The answer is Graham, no, I can't. Um, I don't really, I know the importance of macros um, in, in people's diets. I don't really um, adhere to that. A lot of my goals are performance-based goals. Uh, I've worked very closely with Phil Learney in creating my, um, creating my diet. Um, and basically when I had my knee surgery, he um, put me on a very um, clean diet, um, sort of all very natural foods um, to help with the inflammatory process, making sure that my knee didn't get inflamed and I was able to recover and obviously making sure that I was able to perform uh, and peak at the end of the week and then um, have the right energy systems engaged when I was playing the game. So you've seen the amount of food I eat, I don't know exactly what the macros are for that. And as I said, for me it's not, it's not essential. And I think for a lot of people, getting bogged down with your macros, etc., um, you know, it, it plays a part, but for the majority of people it's about eating healthy, finding a lifestyle and diet that works for you, um, trying something. You know, trying something out four to five weeks and see how you get on. You can use it as a basic template, but it's, you know, everyone's individual um, and you can sort of go from there. Uh, next question is from uh, 86 Ben Green. Um, he's written, oh, will there be any more body fire training sessions this summer? Ladies and gents, that is the plan. Um, obviously, um, rugby is my, my number one priority. Um, hopefully, uh, I will be playing some rugby in the summer. But if we can arrange some um, rugby fit sessions, some training sessions, some functional fitness sessions, then we will let you know. All you have to do to find that information out is go to my website, www.jhbodyfire.com. On the right hand side, there's a registration box. Register for the newsletter. We've got an amazing newsletter which is chock full of information, all the stuff we're up to, uh, recipes, um, diet plans, videos, little sneak peeks. So get on that, follow that, and you'll find out all the information you want. But we are keen to have more sessions. Body fire is all about uh, functional training, so we are going to do some more, but at the moment, there's only a few in the pipeline. Okay, the next uh, question is from T19HT. Um, do you know how I can find a gym which trains with battle ropes? <laughs> um, that is probably the most random question I have ever been asked. I, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple of gyms that I go to. Um, battle ropes are becoming way more popular. There's obviously Reach and Clapham. Um, there's All Stars gyms. There's Hooks. Um, I'm trying to think where else I've been that's got them. Um, Kicks in Sloan Avenue. Loads of these places have battle ropes. They're really easy to find. I think all you have to do is walk into a gym, ask the question that you know that's around you, and, and find out. They are great bits of training equipment. Actually, they're not that expensive, so it's something you can buy um, for a pretty um, cheap amount of money do it in your garden uh, with a body weight session. There's probably some stuff on body fire about that. So that answers your question. Um, Vicky Bronze, when using the foam roller, if an area hurts, does that mean the muscles in that area are weak? No, it doesn't. When you foam roll, it always hurts. Uh, it basically means that your muscles are tight, that you found a trigger point. Now, when I foam roll, I'm in horrific nick, everything hurts. Um, the idea is you find a spot that hurts, you try and roll on it. I try and do nine or ten small rolls, maybe side to side rocking, until you find that loosens off. It's like trigger point therapy from a physiotherapist or a chiropractor, or when you're getting a massage. So it doesn't mean they're weak, it just means they're very tight um, and under work. And if you've got one particular area that's always tight, say like your ITBs, it might mean you've got a deficiency somewhere else that you have to work on. Again, I can't tell you um, without knowing all about your, your past or training history, but no, it's always going to hurt, it's never ever not going to hurt. And if you're amazing, flexible, then, and it doesn't hurt, then amazing, please contact Bodyfire and teach me how to do it. Um, the next one is Jay Parks. Uh, when running long distances over an hour, what would you recommend to eat as snacks to top up energy during? Well, obviously a lot of, there's a lot of products out there like those um, carbohydrate gels, there's energy drinks with carbs and sugar and electrolytes to help you, um, to help you go. Uh, and give you that extra energy boost. I think the key is as well, is your diet and training plan up to that point when you're running is really key. So pre-training, you know, I, I mean, I, uh, or pre, on match day for rugby, you know, I have my um, 
sort of my carb, my brown rice, my um, my chicken, my vegetables, etc. And then a couple of hours before I'm about to perform, I have a meal with uh, nut butter, so uh, cashew butter, almond butter in there, with some coconut oil, uh, with some flax seeds in there. And that's part of, part of my training in the week means I switch um, every other day between having fats like the nut butters and um, having the uh, the normal carbs like sweet potato, butternut squash to mean that I'm utilizing both energy systems when I perform and my body um, isn't used to just one, one source. But again, there are pre-made gels, you can make some healthy snacks. If you look on bodyfire.com, there, there, um, there are some suggestions for things there. Um, and again, you know, le getting some electrolytes in there. Um, I use a product um, a pre match um, called H2 Pro, uh, which is like a, an electrolyte which helps you rehydrate. Again, hydration is key to being able to um, have longevity in anything you do. Uh, Mr. Arsenal blog, how can we use Tagaloa oil and how is it and how is best to use Hades? Right, Tagaloa is the essential oil without selling it to you too hard um, for, for cooking. So basically, you know, everyone uses olive oil. After a certain temperature, olive oil turns into a trans fat and changes form. Coconut oil has a really um, high um, burn point. It's fantastic for cooking. It's really healthy. Helps um, boost your immune system. I have it every morning in a black coffee. Uh, I have steak and nuts every morning. I have it in a black coffee. It's a great sort of source of MCTs, giving you energy um, and sort of helping you out throughout the day. Ways you can use it: cooking in coffee, in protein shakes. Someone I know yesterday told me they have a bath in it. Uh, helps with your skin, it's fantastic. You can put it on cuts and bruises. You can use it instead of butter, put it in your hair. You can even put it on your animals if you want to. Um, you can put it on your lips. Basically, it is a non, it's a one-stop shop for everything you need. But in terms of nutrition-wise, I would cook with it. I would have it in my coffee. Key little tip for you, um, get a black coffee, Cut spoonfuls of coconut oil in there. Obviously, depending on what you're trying to lose, uh, trying to lose. If you're trying to lose weight, obviously it's got lots of calories in there, so you have to balance it out. Make sure it's part of your whole plan. Get a hand blender, blend it up. Beautiful. Um, how to use Hades? Depends what you're trying to do. Hades and Hella, they are both pre-trainers and they're fat burners. So as a pre-trainer, I take I take one. Um, so I take two before I play, uh, which gives me a, a boost. I don't drink caffeine the day before I play and on the day. So I get a good boost, it helps you focus, got the B vitamins for energy. You can take it before you go to the gym, helping you max out lifts. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter, see the, the feedback, people loving it, gives them a boost, whether they're doing long distance, doing CrossFit, whatever. Or if you take it three times throughout the day at your meals, but not, um, not after about five o'clock in the afternoon, because it has got caffeine in and we don't really do affect your sleep, then it will act as a fat burner. You take it for a period of time, take it uh, for four weeks, stop, come off it for a week, take it for four weeks because your body gets used to it.